how to enter and analyze data using SPSS with an example question. What you do is just get into our SPSS which I'm in. SPSS is divided into two sections. We have the data view and the variable view. So the data view helps you to visualize the variable view after inputting the variable view and also inputting the data which you have. So I will get into the variable view since here is where we need a lot of work. Variable view is divided into name, type, width, decimal, labels, values, missing, columns, alignment, measures, and row. In the name side of the variable view, what we need to input is the name of our variables in our data. In the type side, we need to put the type of the data which we have, either numeric or string. You can see them here. We have numeric, commas, dot, scientific notation, dot, date, dollars, custom currency, string, and restricted number in, in G integers, add with in, with reading zeros so but mostly in SPSS we use string variables which represent names or places or or either numerics which they are just numbers but string are mostly nouns we also have the width the width represent the size of the data which you are inputting in the SPSS we also have decimals, so decimals are just uh, are just the number of decimal which you want to include in your data. You can choose two decimal places, one or one decimal places. We also have labels. This is where you give a, a short description of the of the data which you have put under name. Maybe if here you have included ID numbers, here you, in the label you come and give a short description of ID numbers of respondent values this is where sometimes you categorize the values which you have put under name maybe if it is age and you have male and female you can come and input that the male you give them a label maybe you can give the data one to rep value one to represent male and you add add and you give value two to represent female female and then you add and then click ok so when you'll be inputting your data in the data view instead of repeating male and female since it is tedious you'll be putting males as, as letter one i've written me but not me let me do that correction so in order to do correction you just click up upside in the you just click that name and click remove and you can click letter one and write again mirror and then add okay you can also reduce them to at least the one decimal point yeah and that is it i think these one are the very important thing which you do with name type with decimal labels and values so other labels i have to do is where you give a short description of your data which you want to input in spss so with, without any much ado i would like us now to go to our question and try to input that data into our spss let me first remove that screen and then open spss again let me open spss windows again does give it a bit, uh, a bit of second to open yeah so I want us now to input the data which I have here with an example question. So I have a question here. Imagine you are. So what we are doing is just defining variables and entering data in SPSS. 
Imagine you are responsible for correcting data from a clinical drug trial X. Drug X is postulated to affect blood levels of certain hormone H. So levels of hormone will be measured before and after treatment with X. In addition to the hormone data, five other pieces of information will be corrected from each participant in the trial. So these are our variables in that data which were corrected from the respondent. So we corrected surname. So surname is a string variable. Gender, which is also a string variable, but we categorize gender into two bases. You have female and male. So we don't even we don't recognize other. We have female and male, just that age we have is a just a numeric type of data. Income is also a numeric type of data. Smokers, be since we have smokers and non-smokers, so this one is also a it is a it is a it is a string type of data, but we categorize it as smokers and non-smokers. Hormone before it you just measure measure hormone with a certain scale. So the, that one is a numeric hormone after is also a numeric. So let us now input this data corrected from our respondent. So the table below shows the data which you have corrected from five patients who took part in a pilot study for the clinical trial, which switch to the data editor and enter the data on these five patients and remember to use the numerical code when necessary. So I will just minimize this video and also minimize this one. And then I can take this to this side and also I can try to maximize this one and also maximize this data here a little bit let me also minimize this one Can minimize it again to there and nudge this up to there so just be patient I make it in order to assist me give me ample time when inputting data so let me try if I can do something this side let me, yeah I think we are good now so you click data view where you have data view this is where this is where you visualize the variable view which you have inputted so let me click variable view option that this is where you define your data under the variable view so under the name we input the these variables so i will input first thing we have in our variable we have one variable named as sa name and the rule is that you don't space names in the the variable names in your data another so the our sun name is it a string variable or a numeric obvious your name is a string variable and click ok which wind do you want to, to choose i think wind of it is so much fair uh, do we need to attach, to attach values in our name? I think no, we don't need. Then we go to our, from there, we move to an, another variable. So our another variable name is gender. Do gender, is gender a string or a numeric variable? So gender we have male and female, so gender is a string variable since it's categorical you choose string you mark string then click ok i think window of it will be somehow firm and we can continue do we need to attach values in the gender yes we need to attach values in order to make our work easier so i will click add a none and click these three dotted icons here I put value 1 as male and click 
add and give value to to represent female and then click add and then click ok so don't be tempted to put ok before adding my third variable name is age so it is age remember to write in small letters and do not space is age a string or a numeric variable what is your age so your age contain numbers so it is a numeric variable is it fair to you does your age have a decimal point uh, some ages you can get if you are doing averages uh, but i don't think there is somebody with an age with a decimal point so i put my decimal point back to zero so in order to put it back to zero you are just clicking here and clicking either these these arrow pointing downward but if you want to increase the zero significance you can click here but i want my decimal point to remain to zero does my age have values no i have i have remembered you are not giving this data some rebel so the rebel i sh i told you that the rebel give a short description of this data which is here or first we input these things which are very important then we come and input the rebel so we have age income is income a string or a numeric variable so obvious income is a numeric variable since your income always counting values uh, does our income have decimal point for these for my data which i have i think my income does not contain our income does not contain any decimal point so i can put it to zero and continue we we'll come back and give it a short description through the label or to describe our name and then our another variable name is smokers is smokers a string or a numeric variable obviously you have noticed as a string so you click inside this box with the three dotted icon and then move to where we have string and then click ok uh, do we need to give income values yeah we need to give it value click here where we have none and give number one smokers and remember to add and give number two value is none smokers none smokers and then click add and then click ok and where do you be inputting data where we have smoker you'll be putting value one and where we have non smoker you're putting value two let me input hormone before is hormone before a string or a numeric variable obvious it is a numeric variable since you cannot measure hormone using string variable but i think my hormone contain in our data contain some decimal so i can put it to a significant decimal of two do we need to attach values into our decimals i think no we don't need some value i will put now hormone after remember no spacing and always more letter is our hormone after numeric or uh string variable obvious it is a numeric variable does it contain i think we the way to be somehow fair to input our data but just use a default of width of eight when inputting your data i think it is a bit fair does it uh, does it contain contain values i think we don't need to achieve value in our hormone since we have already measured those hormone and i think now we are good to go let me now maximize this screen of my spss i had reduce it to allow me to have an easier access from there now we can start giving these various names 
but you can give them ni- uh, rebo no giving these value rebos i'm very sorry i have just used method to give it, to give these value rebos at the end of after inputting all the data since i was just trying to maximize the time when i have when i had minimized my screen so let me describe surname so i will give it it is surname surname of respondent of respondent or patients so the work of the rebo is just to describe more or tell or tell us more about the name or the variable name which you have inputted here so that if there can be any defect the spss can be able to predict so gender in the gender red task give a short description of the gender so you can also say gender of race for dent where we have age variable name age you can put age of respondent where we also have income you can input income of respondent where we have smokers you can come and put smoking respondent yeah where we have hormone variable name you can put hormone before before for res Respondent, and where we have hormone after you can enter hormone after for respondent after inputting this data like this what you need to do now is click the option data view in order to visualize now the what you have inputted in your variable view so can you see now it have automatically input your variable names which you now use to input your data which you ha- which we have you have in our question so you allow me also to to minimize the screen in order to be able to visualize this screen so our first name was surname was was robin you now here you can write in capital letter here there, there are no limits you can go back and now you can go down and now input now names my first name was robin it is here another name was mc gregor gregor my third name was or my third patient was kamar my fourth patient was arinsons i think i think it cannot input additional i think i have reached the maximum the data is still like that it is arison my fifth respondent was order I don't want to increase the default the default width. Let, let me input it just as Arizona I will avoid Henry. So what are the what is the gender of Robin? Robin is a female, so we attach a value of female to be two. Can you remember when we are adding var- values in the varia- in the variable view? Let me come and you let me view a forgot. You can now see that one means male two means female let me put okay and now we can come back to the data view and input the data so where we have female we are just putting value two where we have male value one where we have male value one where we have female value two where we have male value one so let me continue is gregor a male or a female is a male value one is kama a male or a female is a male value one link this time we'll try to go to hospitals and we really don't go to hospitals 
Yeah, is that son a male or a female? A female. Is order a male or a female? That one must be a male. So I think this time we'll try to go to hospital to receive that hormone. So what was the age of Robin? Robin was a very young man of thirty two. What is the name of what was the age? The age of Robin. The age of Robin was thirty two years old. We also have Gregor. Gregor was thirty three. Was the name of the what was the age of Karma was thirty eight. Was the age of Arison? Arison was fifty one. And the age of Elder was forty four. What were their incomes? See if males and more than female. So there was a female here who was called Robins. Robins and a salary of forty six thousand. MC Gregor was a male and fifty eight thousand. So as male we earn more. <laughs> and here we have Kama who is also a male who earned forty seven thousand. And Arison who earned fifty five thousand and uh, elder with a male this one uh, I don't know where uh, old if he did not have qualification why he is earning twenty eight thousand now let us see so in in the smokers according to our data none of our respondent was using was a smoker so you can remember we attached value one to the smoker add value 2 to the non-smokers so since all our patient were non-smokers so in the smokers option we input value 2 which means non-smokers so let me input value 2 value 2 value 2 value 2 and value 2 so now we come to the hormones hormone before of the respondent before receiving that medicine so the hormone before was 94.58 the hormone you know if we had put this 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 option at a variable though, view the hormone before as to to contain zero decimal point let me try it you see that it will restrict those decimal point. Let me put it there. You notice it have cut the 95.58 to 95. So it is good to ensure that to look at your data and look which, which numbers of decimal it contain. Let me put it back to two decimal places and continue entering our data. So Robin Hormone before was 94.8. MC, let me nickname him as MC, was 106.112. Command hormone before was 88.11. Arison hormone before was 83.62. The order hormone before was 77. I think this hormone differs per income because this guy with who received who his hormone was very low and his income is also very low. I think he is denied everything, even hormone he does not have. He does not have enough hormones. So hormone after after receiving that medicine X. So you can remember these these guys were receiving a treatment with this thing with this medicine x so let us look if the medicine was effective i think this medicine was to reduce the uh, it was like reducing the uh, weights or oh, i don't know so let us continue we are we input the value so hormone after were found for robin were let me mark, try to increase this screen. So hormone before for Robin was 
hormone after for robbing was 88.79 hormone after for for mc was 78.25 hormone after for karma was 102.45 and uh, hormone after for arison was 63 point eight two and hormone after for order was seventy seven point five zero yeah so I think this hormone was so effective it if it is its aim was to reduce the hormone level of that individual or the weight of that individual I think that hormone was so effective so what you need to do after inputting your data into SPSS, you need to save that data. You need to save that data. And the process of saving that data is just getting into where we have fire and click the option fire. Then scroll down up to where we have save us and click the option save us. I will save my data as let me save my data as hormone then click save the clicking save now my data your data have been already been saved you can now see no you have already saved your data and now you can use this data to do some analysis i think it will be a bit to show you uh, be a bit fair to show you some analysis then in my next video i will show you how you can you can generate graphs and charts using this data but let me show you how you can generate just a histogram which can help you to visualize this data in term of a visual or in term of, of histogram or be able to visualize this data well so in order to to generate graphs using this data what you need to do is just click the option analyze after clicking to option analyze you can scroll down up to where we have descriptive statistics and come in to where we have frequencies where we have frequencies what you need to do is just click the option charts then we choose I, I think histogram I promise you to show you histogram and you can show us a normal curve and we can continue let me put the data which I want to generate histogram for I write I have income so I generate a histogram of their income so you just click income and then click this arrow here um, um, yeah click income and click this arrow here so the variable which you are trying to visualize you want to visualize this histograph it is the income and you click chat and then i want i also want to see that curve frequency curve moving in my histogram i'll click continue and then click okay let us wait for the for this thing to work for us and generate whatever we request can you see our histograph have been generated but our income our y axis represent the frequency and their x axis represent our income can you see i think this one is a normal distribution so we are having a normal distribution of the uh, income but i think if i can be able to visualize where well, it have been calculated for us but in my next video i will really want to show you how you can do match with with spss thank you for watching kindly don't forget to watch my next video which i'll be showing you how to do more analysis and generating graph graphs and charts using SPSS. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also to give the video a thumb up so that you will not be missing out in your future lessons like this. Thank you.